So you came here to bleed a clutch, eh? <sighs> I'm exhausted from doing this. I just doing this clutch. Anyways, uh, I know there's a lot of uh, videos that I can't find a rack. Um, at the end of my videos, clutch videos, that people don't know how to bleed a clutch. And like, I take everything for granted because I do everything a bajillion, bajillion times. So what I'm gonna do is now, I will show you how to bleed, bleed a clutch. All right, so Mark 6 GTI, here we are, here we go. So I have a brand new slave in here, so it's actually gonna take a little bit longer than it usual. If you reuse your slave, it, the bleeding process usually goes pretty quick. So here's the uh, bleeder here, and it usually has a um, nipple on there. I took it off. It's in and you got to make sure you top off your reservoir because if your brakes are low, then because they share the same reservoir. So if your brakes are low, then your reservoir will be low, and then you could get an air into your here, and then you'll just be fighting a never-ending battle. So I went ahead and cracked that. So what I'm going to do now. So the pedal always goes to the floor and gets stuck. That's just what it does. So now that it's to the floor, go ahead and open your bleeder screw here. Capture this. It's a nine millimeter wrench. Oh God! You got a squirter. So that squirting was from me stepping on the clutch at one time. So now, stick that on there so it doesn't make a mess. So I, what I went ahead and did was, uh, open the or pump the pedal so I pulled it up from the floor with my hand and then I just did it a bunch by hand um, it's really gonna help to have somebody here but you can go ahead and crack it now if you have that and then go ahead and push your pedal to the floor And then go ahead and close it because the pedal is going to stay on the floor. It's not like the brakes so where it's going to try to return. So now I'm going to close it and I'm going to go pump it a million times. Okay, it's starting to feel pretty good. There doesn't feel like there's any bubbles in there. Feeling pretty solid. Went ahead and pushed the pedal again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits here. Think it'll be good. This is if you don't have a pressure bleeder. So, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you just gotta remember that it will get, the pedal will get stuck on the floor. Um, there we go. Hold this up with that. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> so this is the way to do it if you're by yourself. Um, go ahead, like I said, fill your master, crack the line, let the air bubbles come up first. And then after you pull the pedal off the floor, like after you close it, pull the pedal off the floor, you'll feel it gets stiffer and stiffer. And then you just want to make sure that it's returning all up, all the way up by itself. That you don't have to assist it at all. And if you sometimes, if you don't get all the air out, um, if you don't get all the air out the next day, it could just get spongy and get stuck to the floor. So that means you still got air in there and you got to go ahead and bleed it again. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, it's pretty standard, but that's how you do it by yourself without a pressure bleeder. And have fun! Yeah!